Old West, First American President. In this video, we will discover the transition of the sickly boy, Theodore Roosevelt, on how he made so many changes he made in the frontier. Other American presidents looked up to him. At the end of this video, we will discover that Theodore has so much passion for hunting, but it was peculiar not to shoot a bear. Without further ado, let us get to know this president better. Theodore Roosevelt was born and raised in New York City. When he was younger, he was an asthmatic and a sickly boy. He loved the stories of the frontier since he was a child. In his early 20s, he went to Dakota Territory for a camping trip, but he ended up buying land and a ranch that became North Dakota. His hunting skills and experience at the Battle of San Juan Hill gave Roosevelt an image of himself as a passionate outdoorsman and cowboy soldier. Roosevelt was famously hostile in his foreign policy. He also proved that he is a skilled diplomat. In the 1904 war between Russia and Japan, he offered his services as an arbitrator. In 1905, after the resistance, both sides went to the bargaining table in New Hampshire. This is when Roosevelt won his Nobel Prize when he brokered the peace settlement. Roosevelt once again stepped into broker an agreement when Germany and France almost went to war. This deal in 1906 delayed the outbreak of World War I for at least a decade. Would you believe that Roosevelt did not just help in making countries at peace? Upton Sinclair, a publication, once published the fictional horrors of a meatpacking industry. It highlights the scene saying immigrant workers fell in boiling lard. Roosevelt then called a report on the state of food safety in America. When word got back of disgusting conditions at meatpacking plants, including wildly unsanitary butchering facilities and near rotten meat labeled as fresh, Roosevelt pressured Congress to pass the Pure Food and Drug Act and the Meat Inspection Act in 1906. Both laid the groundwork for the creation of the Food and Drug Administration in 1930. The disgusting condition of the meatpacking plants got back to him. Butchering facilities were unsanitary, and worst was near rotten meats were labeled fresh. So in 1906, he then put pressure on Congress to pass the Pure Food and Drug Act and Meat Inspection Act. Ever wonder how the football players came up with their game rules? Teddy Roosevelt has a great passion for the new game then, American football. Just as much as he loved the game, Roosevelt was concerned about the players' safety on the field. From 1900 to 1905, 45 football players died from field-related injuries. Most are broken neck injuries, concussions, and internal bleeding. In 1905, the tragic death of Union College footballer Harold Moore induced the suspension of football programs in Columbia, Duke, and Northwestern. Harvard would have been another college to suspend the football program. Following the tragic death in November 1905 of Union College footballer Harold Moore, high-profile colleges like Columbia, Duke, and Northwestern suspended their football programs and it looked like Harvard, Roosevelt's alma mater, would follow suit. Roosevelt was very eager to save the game from extinction. He called a White House meeting in December of 1905 together with the coaches and league officials. The agenda was to discuss and change game rules that would save the players from getting injured. And because he was an avid fan of the game, he was able to suggest points that can be useful like the introduction of the forward pass and one of the deadliest parts of the game, he suggested calling a play dead when a player is tackled. Instead of allowing piles on crumbs, injuries mostly happened at this part of the game. Theodore Roosevelt has been battling against monopolies. A century before, corporates have been railing against corporate greed and unfair competition. 
Ten years before Roosevelt entered the White House, the Sherman Antitrust Act already existed. Roosevelt was the first to use this to disassemble a big-time monopoly. Roosevelt sued a railroad monopoly in 1904, and the Supreme Court ruled that the Northern Securities Corporation was unfairly fixing prices and had to be dismantled. During the Roosevelt administration, the Bureau of Corporations was created to be the watchdog. Today, that is the forerunner of the Federal Trade Commission. Theodore Roosevelt's passion for the outdoor led him to be an advocate of land and nature conservation. During his regime, 230 million acres of public land were protected. It also includes the creation of the U.S. Forest Service, which led to the unfolding of five new national parks. Among the landmarks Roosevelt protected during his seven-year presidency were Yosemite Valley and the Grand Canyon. He was able to pass the American Antiquities Act of 1906, which allows the future president's power to conserve important natural and cultural sites as national museums. Theodore Roosevelt was invited once by Mr. Mangrum, owner of Smeed's Plantation in southern Sharkey Country in Mississippi. A man named Hulk Collier was assigned to be Roosevelt's guide. Sadly, when the bear came out, it attacked Holt's favorite dog named Joko. Holt jumped from his horse and clubbed the bear with the stock of his gun. He took the semi-conscious bear to the president for him to shoot it. However, Roosevelt refused because he feels that it is unsportsmanlike. Thus, Teddy's bear, or now called Teddy Bear, was born. You have just discovered about Theodore Roosevelt, the first cowboy president. Now let's watch the next video about other U.S. presidents back in the Old West 